Is becoming color neutral the cheat code to easily getting faster at 3x3 or a waste of time that'll distract you from reaching your cubing goals? Today, I did 300 solves to answer that very question, so watch until the end to find out if you should become color neutral. Throughout this video, I'll be showing a bunch of comments that you guys left me that inspired me to make this video, and the perfect one to start with is... So yeah, what is color neutrality? Well, a lot of cubers, even some of the best in the world, start solving a cube with a certain color every time. If you use CFOP, for example, you'll solve the white cross first every single time. But some people, including myself, solve equally well no matter what color they start with. And that's called being color neutral. Now, I always thought that it was just this widely accepted fact that at some point in your cubing improvement journey, you have to become color neutral at some point. For example, I train myself to become color neutral when I average around 30 seconds. It opens up so many more options for which cross to solve on each and every solve, like I explained in this video, but I got a lot of comments on that video from people who didn't really see the value in becoming color neutral, and that made me curious. Is being color neutral actually worth it? So being the slight math and statistics nerd I am, I decided to gather some data. I took my brand new GAN14 from dailypuzzles.com.au, use code TIVO at checkout, and I did 100 solves how I normally do, starting with whatever cross looked the best, 100 solves forcing myself to only start with white, and 100 solves where I use a secret technique I'll share with you later on. And before I share the results of my experiment, I want to ask you to subscribe to this channel for brand new cubing content every single week. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, so it really mean a lot. So what did this experiment show? Well, 300 solves and two sore wrists later, I have an answer. My first average of 100, where I started on any color like I normally do, was a 10.97, which was actually a very good average by my standards. My second average, on the other hand, where I solved on only white, was nearly half a second slower at 11.39. But wait, I told you I did an average of 100 with a secret technique that might have been even more effective. Well, a couple weeks ago, I put up a poll asking if you guys were color neutral, and a lot of you commented that you were dual neutral, which means you could solve on either white or yellow. So, on my third average of 100, I picked between white or yellow, whichever cross looked the best, to see if this would be just as effective as solving with color neutral, and my average was 11.18. So basically right in the middle of the two averages. So to answer the question, do you need to be color neutral? Well, it's not required to be fast, but I personally would definitely recommend it. So in my opinion, being color neutral is awesome, but it's totally useless if you're still making this common mistake in inspection. Click here to see what that is.